Hi everybody, it's Michelle from TravelingLadybug.blogspot.com with my second how to draw video in Silhouette Studio. So we're going to start with a Untitled Studio file. We're going to go up here to File. We're going to save as Clouds because we're going to work on clouds today. Okay, so it's saved right here. You're going to go to your Eclipse Drawing Tool, click it. Come over here to your mat, click and drag so you have a circle or maybe an oval shape. It doesn't really matter. These clouds are going to be your very own creation. So do another one, kind of overlapping, maybe a little, you know, up a little bit, then one more up a little higher. And then we're going to draw one a little lower, a little smaller, and then maybe an oval shaped one. Let's move that one over. So I'm going to do my select tool. I'm going to click on that one and move it over just a little bit. <clears throat> click on your Eclipse tool again. Now, I'm doing the flat bottom clouds, so what I'm going to do is just add some circles in here to fill that in. I'm going to select it all with my click and drag. Go down here to weld, click it, and see it's all one big lumpy thing. So you can leave it like this, you can resize it, make it a stretched out cloud, a little puffy one, just whatever you want. But what I'm going to do is make it a flat bottom cloud. By selecting the rectangle tool, I'm going to come over here and just draw a rectangle. Make sure you your rectangle is below your cloud. Like when you click and drag, make sure it goes all the way below. Go to select, I'm going to select the whole thing. Go up here to Object, Modify, Cookie Cut, and there you go. Let's color this in so you can see it. Click the Fill tool, do red. There's your cloud. Like I said, you can, sorry, like I said, you can uh, use a cut bottom, the flat bottom cloud. You can resize it, make a little poofy one. You can right click, duplicate, and now you have two. Go ahead and resize that, make it a little taller if you want. Now you have two clouds. I'm going to do the invisible transparent fill so that you see the uh, outline of your clouds. So you have two different clouds. There's one, there's one. You can select both of them, drag them off screen, and maybe make another one, but not a, a cut bottom one. So essentially all I'm doing is taking circles, I'm just drawing circles over and over and over, doing like that. So see, if I select all of these and hit weld, it's going to look like a little arc of a cloud. So what you want to do, let's undo that. What you want to do is keep drawing until the bottom is bubbly too. I'm sorry for that noise in the background guys, my cats just found a paper sack from when I bought groceries. So, okay, uh, select tool, select all of them and weld, and now you have a puffy cloud. Let's make it blue so you can see it. You have your very own cloud, and every cloud can be different, or they can all be the same by right-clicking and duplicating. Okay, so it's that easy. Now what I'm going to do is give you a bonus and show you how to make a moon. Um, I showed you how to make a sun in my last video. So we're going to draw an eclipse, a circle, doesn't matter what size, because once you have one, you can resize it, make it little or big or, you know, whatever. So what I'm going to do is right click, duplicate, and I'm going to drag this one over just a little and click off of it, select the whole thing, and just like we did with the, the flat bottom cloud, I'm going to click object replicate, not replicate, modify, sorry, modify and cookie cut. And look at that, you have a crescent moon. So that's your little bonus for this time. I'm going to fill that in with yellow. There's your moon. And like I said, you can always resize it, make it a full page or make it a little tiny one. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions on what else I should draw, uh, leave those con leave that in the comments too. Thanks for watching guys. Bye